and get the sale here back for another pick a ring reading yes the cards are here i have not put the rings on here yet but i'm gonna do that during the video in a few seconds here um so this is a pick a card reading that's going to be about why you are not committed with this person or just committed in general possibly um and why things are not official um so i mean you can be single and in that case you take it as why am i not committed to anybody um, but for the most part, it's just for those of you who are dealing with someone and you're not official and you're just, you know, going with the flow of what this person is offering. So we're going to see why exactly they have not offered you that commitment, um, or a relationship, you know, so let's see. Um, but let's go ahead. I'm going to pick out, well, I'm just going to shuffle or I guess you can shuffle rings and see what comes up for each pile you can pick by ring or just by the cards okay so we have the blue um ring here i've had these for a long time i've never used them in readings or i don't really even wear them because they're too small um but they're supposed to be a part of my spiritual store we have um a rose quartz ring here if you can see it, probably looks like you probably can't, but that's what that is. It's birthstone rings more than it is crystals, but I'm calling it rose quartz. Uh, but let's see. And we have red for the third pile. So you can pick by color, you can pick by ring, or again, you can just focus on the cards or even a number. Um, so let's see. Um, if you have not had enough time to pick a ring, a card, or whatever is your situation here, just pause or rewind as always. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to move these to the side as best as I can without knocking things over. I am clumsy, so we'll see how that's going to go. Looks like it went fine, at least for now. So we have this blue ring here. Um, it looks like it's trying to bind people with the um, metal here. But if you can see, so it looks like you guys are working on healing your throat chakra, I feel, with the blue, communicating um, more of what it is you want. If you're not doing that now, this is your sign to do so. Um... This person's favorite color could also be blue, or it could be yours, or one or both of you could be water signs, possibly. Or again, could just be that you have these placements in your chart, or just taking on their energy at this time. Maybe you met them in water sign season, so on and so forth. Whatever the case is for you, it's not going to resonate for everybody, but just take it how you feel it resonates. So let's see why you were not committed or official with this person. So it looks like... Some of you are inquiring about either an ex or somebody that maybe kind of ghosted you or something with this here. Uh, like I said, the communication. So it looks like maybe there was slow communication for some of you or again, some of you aren't even talking to this person. So let's see. Um, yeah, and some of you are single more than likely. Um, and trying to see if somebody is going to come back or not. Um, we have Page of Earth, which is Page of Pentacles. So it looks like some Earth sign energy could be here as well. Um, so Page of Earth. So it looks like this person is maybe a bit childish with money. I don't know why that's coming up. They could be childish in terms of their goals. Um, they're, I feel like they have their priorities kind of mixed up there. Now, the pages are not always meaning that somebody is childish, but childlike doesn't have to mean immature or anything like that in some cases. Um, it looks like this is what this person is focusing on. They're focusing on joy and stability in their home front and their, they're not thinking realistically about it though. That's the thing. So this is number four, joy and stability. That's what they're focused on. Um, I feel like they're feeling like they have this by themselves. 
uh, for some of you that are inquiring about an extra situation where this person isn't talking to you right now for whatever reason. Um, I feel like they don't think or feel like a relationship needs to be prioritized over um, their career and stuff. But let's see. Synchronicity, 87. Um, more purple energy here. Intuition, crown chakra, psychic development. Um, so definitely follow your intuition with this connection. And I feel like some of you are now asking, okay, well, since this card comes up, is this person coming back or not? Um, I do feel like they are going to come back to offer something. It could just be to repair on things or just at least to give you some type of closure or communication allowing for you to speak your truth in how you feel about them. Um, satisfaction. I feel like they're worried about maybe their own stability by themselves, their own satisfaction. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. So it looks like you really valued this person's opinions and what they thought about things or what they thought about you. Um, you have striving. Eventually, the individual ego's drive to make things happen falls away, replaced with the relaxed trusting openness to answer as they answers as they arise thank you divine for letting me move with the flow so yeah they're going with the flow um but for some of you this person is going to make some type of return to offer something communication um maybe even getting back together but yeah they're a lot focused on other things and they're kind of being childish about their emotions when or in communication um direction so it looks like they're also like i said they're i didn't say it in this way but it comes up again they're lacking direction lord please show me the right action right now please bring a sign and a miracle that gives clear direction may i hear the promptings of my own body and if for some reason i'm about to head the wrong way please stop me so this is a message to you um because it looks like maybe this person has already just recently returned for some of you. And you're kind of questioning if it was the right decision. It looks like it took a little bit of time to get there. And things kind of happened maybe a little bit backwards. But you got there. Um, so let's see. Abracadabra. This reminds me of the magician. Um, number 21 it says... Uh, which is about manifestation and um, having the ability to create what you want just by having tools and certain resources in front of you. Um, so if you really want joy and stability with this connection, you want that commitment, you can get it. But it's just about learning to use what you have and I feel like your resources are your voice maybe you're not asking for it maybe you're just waiting on them to offer um and as long as you do that they're not going to offer it um here's more blue here so again communication needing to ask for what you want and not hold back more purple brand spanking new um so I feel like they're kind of acting like a new person um, in general, or with you, you know, they're acting like a new person, they're acting as if, um, as if they don't owe anybody anything, I'm getting with that page of earth there, and then that, and then you have a hairball, so like I said, as long, look, more communication, more blue, as long as you're not asking for what you want and expecting it, even if you're expecting it, you do need to be verbal about it. It's kind of like you have something stuck in your throat where you're not able to get it out. You have this hairball in your throat and spirit is saying, 
you have to speak up for this person. This person is maybe willing to offer, but you have to communicate it. Um, you have to be verbal. And again, I feel like this person is more concerned with their money and their career goals. And that overrides their love and affection for other people um, in the romantic sense. Um, they're focused on logic and what can bring them more magic, what can bring them more um, opportunities. And it's not to say they're using you. This is just to say that they want to know that with or without somebody, they, they are covered is what I'm hearing. So that is for um, pile one and ring one, whatever you want to call it. Um, that is why you guys are not committed with this person or in general, why you're not committed. Maybe for some of you that are not dealing with anybody at all, this is about you needing to focus on this, um, kind of make that a priority because some of you may be a little bit, uh, careless with this part of your life because you're trying to keep up with a relationship or with the person. So spirit says in order for you to find that joy and stability, you have to have your head on straight and your priorities in order. So that is for pile one. So take it as it resonates. So whether this is for you singles, whether you're in a relationship, whether or well, not in a relationship, as this is about why you're not committed. But you know what I mean. So thank you guys for tuning in and I wish you love and light. Please do subscribe, share, comment. Let me know what other suggestions you would like me to look into, and I will put it on my list. Love and light. Welcome to those of you who have picked ring and pile two. Um, this is the, it's supposed to be a birthstone, but I'm calling it a rose quartz since it is pink. Um, so that is the ring you guys have picked. So you guys are very passionate about love. You're very compassionate also, um, I feel like you have a clear sense of what love is and what it's supposed to be. I don't feel like you're all about society's love and what they teach everybody um, or what they try to teach. I feel like you are fair. And I just feel a warm energy for those of you who I picked this. So let's see. New love. Okay. So now, this doesn't always mean, oh, a new person is coming into your life or, oh, you're not meant to be with somebody you're with now or dealing with now. New person has shows your romantic feelings. This could go a few different ways. This could be where somebody is showing you a new side of them. I feel like maybe a lot of you were in a relationship with this person before, but they've kind of been in and out of your life um, like a some type of cycle. Or they could just be showing you a new side of themselves and you are not used to their type of love they are showing now or whatever the case is. We have six of earth, six of pentacles here. Um, but this is all about sharing, you know, so I do feel like it looks like, again, they are showing a new part of themselves, sharing themselves in a way that. I feel like for some of you, the love is actually there. It's actually pretty good. They're being generous, but there's no title, and that's kind of frustrating you. Um, so we have dedicated effort, eight of pentacles. So this person cares. There's feelings there. There's no doubt about that. Um, rebirth, number 16. So I kind of like new rebirth, new love. Rebirth is, you know redoing something so like new like you guys are redoing a connection you've done before like I said earlier is what I feel for some of you um cause and effect you are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an is an agent of change in the foundation of your results so just keep in mind that the way you think the words you use whatever you know type of connotations you're filling your head up with that can ultimately change the outcome in situations that we go through on a daily basis so just remember not to constantly say bad omens because that is what you will get if you believe you're in a bad situation that's going to stay stuck um but i do see dedicated effort on both ends if it's not now coming up this person is going to show you that 
they are going to show you something they haven't seen that you haven't seen before where they're good or where they're bad um self love so like i said the negative thoughts that you're having are because you have them about yourself this other person does not believe these things about you but you do and that's a big problem so it says show me how to love myself show me how to take care of the me, the inner child show me how to be kind within when you step into self-forgiveness so much can change on the outside so a lot of you have a lot of regrets over which you can't really control um But spirit is saying to come out of that and allow yourself to love and to be loved. Um, I feel like you are putting in the work necessary for this change. I do feel like you're working towards this. Um, let's see. Clarity. Let me trust my deepest instincts and in always, especially when matters are unclear. May my own holy intuition always guide me or guide the way. Um... So it looks like you guys, it seems like you're in a relationship, in a committed official type of thing, but it's not public and that is, looks to be an issue for you. Um, that's, I'm getting that again, but you need greater clarity. They're not being direct on whether or not, Hey, are we together? Hey, what are we? Are we going to get married? This, that, and the third. It looks like they haven't told you that directly, but expect for you to know that, hey, you already know what we are. You know our understanding. There's no need for me to put a title or a word in behind it. That's the issue that I'm seeing here. Hasta la vista, baby. Okay. So, obviously, sometimes that can be about letting go of something, but in this particular situation I just feel like if you were to bring up the whole needing clarity thing I feel like that would maybe put a little bit pressure on them so to speak um hmm for some of you this may be long distance or something Let's see. Jackpot. So this person feels like they have hit the jackpot with you, definitely. Um, they think you're gorgeous. They think you're handsome. They think you are full of life. And they appreciate, I feel like, everything that you have offered, everything that you have shown them. But they just do not feel like they have to have a title in behind everything. Um... So heartbeat, so you and this person's heartbeat kind of align. Um, I'm just getting this picture of when you guys may lay together. It doesn't mean you're having sex or anything, but it just could mean like when they're laying on your chest and when, or whatever the case is, vice versa, you know, you can hear each other's heartbeat. I'm just getting this picture of when I lay on my boyfriend's chest like I can hear him, so... Um, but yeah, it looks like, I feel like you, or your heart beats match. That's what spirit is telling me to say. Um, what does Asa La Vista, baby, this person is running away from their heart. Now, I feel like they're all in, but at the same time, they're trying to figure out how in the world did they feel like this for somebody. Um, this is a love that they're not even used to with the new love. For some of your situations, this person is not used to this. Um, so it's not even about them, the clarity and them not wanting to give it to you. It's about them feeling like it's not necessary. It's about them feeling like you already know the deal here. Um, so they're going to be like, why are you questioning it? But like, yeah, the Asa La Vista baby is now being more clear to me, which is telling me that this person is just trying not to get too caught up in, um, their feelings. They're not used to these. They're trying to block them out. They're trying to wave goodbye to them, but they can't. 
so that is for pile two i thank you guys for tuning in i hope this resonates if not pick another pile or again it's not meant to resonate with everybody i wish you guys love and light and i will see you guys in the next one welcome to those of you who have picked pile slash ring three which is the final set here i put the ring on i don't know why i just felt like putting it on but this is um the red gemstone here um, I'm going to take it off, <laughs> but, um, so with this, I feel like you guys are always on alert. You always know what's happening. You always know how this person is feel, how this person is feeling, but it looks like you guys are just unsure of why there isn't a title, why there isn't a commitment, even though, um, again, like I said, you already know for a fact how they feel. So even if my pile suggests something different, you know. Um, so that's what I feel like that is about for you guys. You guys are always on alert. Okay. So let's see. Power three. Healing family issues. Okay. So healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So like I always say that this doesn't always mean exactly what it says. I feel like this person is trying to keep their family members happy. It's not necessarily that they're having big issues with them. It's that they're kind of hard to please. It's not because of you, but this is generally keeping them from being able to please you because they feel like they have so many other people, close friends, close family that they have to please as well. So it's like they feel like they can't do it all. Um, we have Ten of Fire, which is Ten of Wands. Looks like... Um, Somebody's overwhelmed, like I said, overwhelmed with trying to just keep a whole group of people happy, including you. Um, this could be a fire sign also, and or air sign. We have um, five, which is, um, it says win or lose. So, like I said, they can't, they feel like they can't win for losing. It doesn't matter what they do. They feel like they cannot please everybody. That's the big message here. Um, so, it's like some people are having to feel the brunt of that and be left out because it's so many people in places or whatever it is you're trying to make sure gets the attention from him that they need to get. Uh, so, we have manifestation number eight. Which means that, um, like I said to pile, I want to say it was pile two. It might have been pile one. Um, you can manifest this commitment, but it's a lot standing in the way. A lot of obstacles, a lot of people, a lot of other responsibilities that this person, again, just feel like they can't handle it all. But if you encourage them and tell them, um how you are feeling i feel like they'll be willing to kind of make time for you it's not that they don't want to again it's just like they feel like they can't virtue so whenever i see this word virtue i think of patience is a virtue it says you acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow so like i said if you could encourage and tell this person i feel like you would be able to get the time and the title that you wanted from them um feelings yeah acknowledging each other's feelings um emotions want to be felt you really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it allow me dear divine to offer all the emotions to you feeling them fully so they no longer hold me captive yeah so it's like they want to be there for you but they also want to be there for everybody else so um yeah, that's just a part of dealing with this person's energy. If you want to deal with this person, you're going to have to put up this, put up with this for a while because this is a people uh, pleaser. Intention. Intention is simply allowing the will and the mind to align and move in harmony. May I always focus on the highest. My intention is that all God's wishes for me come true. So know if this is for you, it's going to happen. But you do have to make your intentions clear to not only the universe, God, and the angels, but to yourself, most importantly, um, and also to this other person. Again, explaining your feelings and intentions and why you are doing what you are doing for them, why you are in their life. And then I feel like they'll 
they will make more time for you then. They feel like they can't. The reality is they can. It's just they feel like they can't. They've never taken on so much at one time. Um, the F word. So the F word does not necessarily mean F word as in F-U-C-K. The F word here in this deck is forgiveness, forget, um, and I don't forgot the other word, but that's the type of um, terminology that this explains but to some of you this could mean that the f like it's like you're needing to forgive them for not giving you enough time and attention you're needing to forgive them for again just not placing it's not like they don't think about you again they just have so much going on so we have a uh, solar power number three so there's two threes here so it looks like that may mean something to you guys okay so I feel like this person just needs to be with the solar power card here. It talks about them needing to be refueled, needing um, more motivation. I feel like from you wholeheartedly because they're not getting it from anywhere else. So just please be that for them. And then I feel like you will start to get more of that time and more clarity around what's going on with you and this person. You have Bazinga. Um, for some reason, this comes up a lot um, since I've had this deck and since I've been using it. But... This kind of goes back to what I was saying about you guys being on alert, being on, oops, on red. You know, the little symbol for when people are just knowing when things are live, when things are happening. And this goes back to that with the purple here being about the intuition and the crown chakra. Um, this talks about you having everything. This talks about you having the personality that they look for. This is your personality. Your personality pops out. There is nothing wrong with you. It's just that they, again, they can't, I mean, this person is just trying to fit everyone in. And, again, there are, you're not the only one that feels left out sometimes from this person having to try to include everybody. It's a lot of other people, too, but this person, people are, put a, a necessary amount of unnecessary amount of pressure on him um and again like i said you're feeling the brunt of that but um they think you are fabulous they think you have nice taste and they think you have it going on girl or guy whoever you are sitting here watching this reading it's nothing wrong with you it's just that they have so many responsibilities. Um, they may even have kids, too, I'm being told to say. Not for all of them, but it's just like a lot of different people they have to give attention to or they feel like they have to. Um, I know I keep saying it, but... Oh, also, the other F word is follow. It's forgive, forget, and follow um, with the F word here. But, but, yeah, I'm seeing if you give more motivation and just the more time they'll be able to give it to you what it is that you are needing right now they are um ten of wands i feel like they're kind of restless even about the things that they love to do because again they're focused on pleasing everybody else around them helping them with their dreams and their wishes and his kind of have to take his or hers has to take like a back seat so um yeah so that is the reading for pile three. There's your ring again. I wish you guys love and light. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Do not forget to subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know if it resonated. Or just tell me what it is you would like to see on my channel moving forward. I love you guys so much. And I thank each and every one of you for being here. Even just being subscribed. And I see you guys later. Love and light.